Hello, everybody. Today, I'll be reviewing some Halloween safety tips. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, everybody. So today, I'm going to be basically going over some Halloween safety tips. So let's go ahead and get started. Halloween safety tips. Happy Halloween, everybody. It's that time of year again. Costumes, trick-or-treating, and all that good stuff. So today, I'm going to Go over some more Halloween safety tips. Let's review some Halloween safety tips. Tip number one, avoid using flammable items. So basically here what I'm trying to say is you want to avoid using like real candles mainly because um, real candles are very um, are very dangerous to use on Halloween. Um, let's say you have a real candle app and somebody trips and falls um, in it for let's say for example, a hot Halloween costume gets onto the candle. The Halloween costume will um, ignite if it has enough, um, if the material it's in is really flammable. So you always wanna avoid using flammable items just for, safe, just for safety and other reasons as well. Tip number two, stay in a group. So when you're trick or treating, you always wanna stay in a group. Never wanna be alone. Um, there are a lot of incidents where people um, get stuck alone and there's bad weather or, or there's another type of emergency like um, like you just want to stay in a group it's the safest thing um, god forbid somebody were to get injured or there would be something else to happen you always want to be in a large group tip number three look before crossing the street all right so basically everybody should know always look before crossing the street you always want to look left to right. As you can see, these people in the image are looking left and to the right, which is very smart because you always want to look both ways before crossing. Um, you never want to cross the street um, and not look because you never know what could be coming. Even if you are in a traffic light, you always just want to make sure that you click the button and um, listen to, um, or not listen, just see what the signs tell you to do. Some of them, some traffic lights do have buttons where you can press them and they, um, there's a little crosswalk where you can walk across and you always do want to walk across a crosswalk. Do not just cross the street. Um, I know there's a lot of people who just think you can just cross the street. Yes, you can do that, but in some states it is illegal um, to do that. Um, in my area, it is illegal to do that um, and you shouldn't be doing that. It's very unsafe, um, especially if you are in a busy area. Tip number four, use flashlights. So you always want to be using flashlights on Halloween, again, mainly because it can get very dark um, and the sun is set setting a lot earlier um, than it did in the spring or in the summer. So you always want to use flashlights, provide children with flashlights, um, just make, your, make yourself look visible. Um, you, you always just want to be careful with stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Tip number five, ensure exits are not obstructed. So what I'm talking about in this um, tip is you always wanna make sure that exits are not obstructed. So let's say for instance, you have bungee cords or something like a chair blocking an exit, that's not okay. Um, if you do remember um, in the Triangle Waste Fire many years ago, the doors were locked, were locked. And that is, was an obstruction for people to get out. The doors were locked by a chain and they couldn't get out. So the, basically the exit was obstructed. Other examples can be when people block um, near exits with like a table or they block it with some other object. So you always wanna make sure that, it, that um, all exits are clear just in case um, there is an emergency. Um, you never know when an emergency can occur. Um, it can happen on Halloween for all you know. Um, you just don't know. Questions. If you have any questions, comment below. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.